Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guide. This is another episode of the C++ Raycaster game series and in this video we are going to continue by starting to render our actual 3D scene. So I'm going to open up my uh, renderer.h file here in Vim and uh, uh, inside of this we have got this draw ray function which is uh, pretty cool but we are going to well, let's just copy this and uh, create another function which we'll call uh, draw 3D view. Uh, so this function will have the responsibility of drawing the actual 3d view and uh, it will basically have the same signature as the draw ray function and i'm going to open up the render.cpp file here and inside of this uh, along with draw rays i'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this and then paste this here along with draw rays we'll have another function which we'll call draw 3d view so let's implement that uh, draw 3d view like that 3d view so this function uh, will have the responsibility of drawing the world in 3d so we are going to uh, remove these lines here of drawing the actual 2d ray and before we continue i'm going to open the main.cpp and change a couple of things here uh, first thing we are not going to draw the player or the map so we are going to remove player and map and we are also going to change window.draw rays to draw three uh, draw renderer dot uh, draw 3d view so we'll change it to that and uh, yeah now we'll only draw the 3d view so currently if i run this uh, like that you should be able to see that we have got nothing on our screen absolutely nothing because uh, well we don't actually have like a uh, you know uh, we don't actually have anything drawing yet so inside of this in order to draw we need to of course know our screen size we are going to create two const expression floats uh, called screen width which is going to be uh, well currently we have got a width of uh, uh, 1200 and we are not going to make our window like not resizable to in order to prevent any problems so uh, we, we, let's just say let's set it to 200 uh, 1200 uh, like that and we are going to have another float here uh, screen height screen height which we'll just set to uh, 675 like we had uh, earlier so uh, we basically have everything in a similar way like uh, we had there and inside of this we'll make sure that we use the style of uh, close and uh, SF colon colon style colon colon uh, we have got title bar here as well so we're going to have the close and the title bar style but we are not going to allow the window to be resizable so if I run this right now you can see that our window can be moved and uh, that works but we can't actually resize the window it's fixed the size is fixed so uh, that's awesome now let's go here and uh, change it this to use the actual variables let's use screen width uh, screen width and screen height here uh, with these variables uh, that makes sure that uh, we, if we change them then the actual size of the window is changed as well and we'll use this for our rendering so now let's go down here and uh, we have got all of this so we, we, we basically have a screen of 1200 pixels wide now uh, we want to draw our 3d view on this and we are going to draw it as you know from like left to right each uh, a single horizontal pixel at a time so uh, for that not a, exactly a horizontal pixel uh, basically a vertical line from the top to bottom of the screen depending on where we hit the ray so uh, we need to decide how much we want to do it do we want to do it for like every pixel 1200 pixels that would actually be a lot and uh, perhaps we could do it for like uh, every two pixels currently our player angle is uh, 60 degrees so if i uh, increment the angle by one it will basically cast 60 rays and if i increment it by uh, two it will uh, you know uh, if i just increment it by two it won't uh, cast 60 rays but instead cast 120 rays and uh, uh, in order to cast 1200 rays we'll actually need to uh, have like uh, basically increment the angle not by like half but uh, by one by even you know we'll have to increment it by 0 0.05 uh, in other words we'll need to cast 1200 rays which is quite a lot and we don't actually want to do it that much so instead uh, we'll be uh, letting it remain at this we'll be drawing at uh, uh, like only drawing 120 rays but uh, we'll uh, increase the actual uh, width of those rays like the columns we draw so that it's uh, uh, kind of uh, a bit uh, you know more suitable of course, uh, uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, we can't actually la ha like render super high resolution stuff uh, in real time with ray casting. So we need to kind of make a little bit of compromises here. So, all right, after we have got that, uh, we of course will only draw something if the ray hit anything. If the ray just missed, then we won't draw anything at all. So if the ray hits something, then we need to like draw a wall. 
so for that we let's first uh, calculate our wall height now in order to call wall height uh, calculate wall height uh, we first need to find out like a constant for our wall height let's for, for example set this to our cell uh, map dot uh, get cell size uh, multiplied by our screen height we'll set this to be our like basic wall height this will be our basic wall height and then we'll divide this by our rays distance which will uh, allow it to get smaller when we are farther away from the ray so this wall height is basically going to be inversely proportional to the distance for, of the ray uh, afterwards we can try while well, drawing this we can draw this pretty easily uh, before we do that though uh, i'm going to uh, let me go here and uh, okay in order to draw this we'll have to draw it as an uh, sf colon colon rectangle shape because uh, uh, this line is going to actually have some width so we are going to have to create an sf colon colon rectangle shape which we'll just call rectangle uh, or we can call it column yeah, we can call it column because that better represents what it is uh, of course we need to include the header so we'll include hashtag include sfml slash graphics uh, slash rectangle shape dot uh, svp like that all right with this done now we can mm, use this uh, and set this to the correct size now in order to set it to the correct size we need to uh, take our like uh, you know uh, we need to take the width to be we need to well first of all let's set the height so let's go back to 2f and uh, we set the wall height here as the height now for the actual width uh, we'll need to set this width to uh, you know we can set it to uh, as I said before we are casting 120 rays while our screen is 1200 so we can set this to 10 and that should be uh, exactly what we need so we have got this column and we have got it at the wall height so we need to now draw it actually so let's just let's just try to draw it uh, if we try to draw it then it will actually be drawn out of the screen so if i just say target or draw column like that then it will actually be drawn like uh, completely wrong so you can see that we get a single column to the left side of the screen uh, which doesn't actually look that good and uh, that's because we are drawing all of our columns at the like leftmost position so we need to change this so that we actually draw our column not as a leftmost position but uh, uh, we increment the columns position as our uh, ray angle increases from the left to the right now in order to shift our column we are going to change uh, something here we are going to actually change this to use a uh, like uh, different approach here we'll have actually a size underscore ti here uh, representing the index and we'll uh, use that instead of using a separate angle so we have got this and uh, let's create an angle so let's set float angle is equal to player dot angle uh, minus player fov divided by two uh, we'll do this here but uh, we will keep going until our i is less than the number of rays we want to cast and what is the number of rays we want to cast uh, well we want to uh, well we can say say 20 or we can store this in a variable let's call it num rays and we can store that in a variable so we are going to go up here and we are going to say const expression size underscore t uh, num rays is equal to let's just set this to uh, 120 like we had before so this will have 120 rays and we will of course say i plus uh, plus but we can also say angle plus equal 0 0.5 now in order to determine what we need to increase the angle with uh, we will need to we can automate this as well we can just say our num rays so our number is 120 uh, we can say 60 divided by our num rays so we can essentially to shorten this up we can say player fov divided by our num rays and this will be the amount that we want to increase our angle by uh, let's actually store that float we'll just call it angle increment is equal to uh, player fov divided by float num rays like that and in the end we'll just uh, increment it by that to prevent the compiler from having to calculate it each time so we'll just say angle increment here like this so this will get that done correctly and uh, hopefully we still are working but uh, now we need to change this uh, let's first of all go here and when we are drawing this we are going to change our column a little bit we'll say column dot set uh, uh, position and we are going to set its position to uh, well uh, from the y let's just keep it at zero uh, on the x we are going to increase it actually so we are going to just say i multiplied by uh, the actual uh, you know size of the um, column so we are going to take i and multiply that by the column size and in the end we can say 
something like uh, uh, actually uh, we can say zero for the y even though that's not correct right now but let's do that for testing and it would be a good idea to kind of automate this as well so let's create an const expression uh, like because it's a good idea to have const expressions here instead of like putting magic numbers because that is generally bad practice so we will call this uh, column width and this will be equal to uh, you know our screen width divided by uh, convert to float our number of rays like that and this will of course be a uh, call uh, you know a uh, it will essentially be like a compiler calculated variable so that we don't have to worry ourselves about uh, it causing any computation time on our application uh, that's why we make it const expression so we'll do this here like that and uh, hopefully this will give us different results so let's see so you can see that this is basically what we get here it kind of looks really really weird it kind of makes no sense uh, uh, no idea what's happening here so anyways one thing we need to make sure is that our wall height is never greater than our screen height so we'll just add a check for that if that's the case we'll just clamp it to the screen height and uh, uh, in order to make sure that we kind of draw at the correct place we need to offset our walls a bit the offset can be calculated pretty easily by taking half of the screen height and subtracting half of the wall height from it and then in the end when we are setting our column position we need to make sure that we set this to wall offset on the y and on the x like i did before i multiply by column width now let's run make and you should be able to see this now uh, it might not look like that at first but this is actually a 3d view if i move around you can kind of see that it's uh, 3d well uh, it does look a little bit 3d however the problem is that it's looking really weird like a fisheye effect is being observed here we are kind of getting it at the corners it's a bit greater compared to the center so why uh, why is that happening what's there's the reason behind that and how can we actually fix it but we'll fix that in the next video. In the next video, we'll basically refine our 3D recasting algorithm to fix the fisheye correction. And uh, uh, this effect is, you know, called the fisheye effect. So we'll fix it in the next video. And we'll also learn how to add shading to our walls to kind of make our scene look more 3D and not just flat. So we'll learn uh, about that in the next video. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe as well. And share this video with other people. And bye.